<laughs> oh man, is this embarrassing. What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022, definitely 2022 edition. Yeah, this is not the last episode guys, my bad. So, yeah. I kind of made a little boo-boo. Not, not a little boo-boo, I just completely forgot. We still got one more thing to do, and that is, uh, yeah, the Ruins of Elf. I did say I was going to do that. Probably should have done that earlier. Anywho, yeah, there are two puzzles that we need to complete in order to, yes, you know, get that off our conscience and all that stuff. And it requires a Water Stone, and it requires Ho-Oh. I could have, like I said, I could have done this early on, but I, you know, it slipped my mind. I was going through the whole motion of just finishing up this whole walkthrough. That, you know, I seriously thought I was going to finish it off at, at episode 69. Guess episode 70 will be the finale. Hmm, I guess so. Anywho, the two puzzles are located right here in the uh, Union Cave. You actually do need a Pokemon no Surf and Strength in order to get by, and, well, we're going to be battling this guy quickly, so we don't need to mess with this guy right now. So there you go. Boom. There you go. All right. So we defeated this guy. But, yes, you will be needing to a Pokemon that knows Surf and Strength, and the first place we're going to be going to is right here where we're going to solve the Waterstone puzzle first. And, uh, yeah. Anywho, look at this. It's a nice place, pretty cool secret area, and all we need to do now... Something happened. Uh-oh. Something happened. Okay, so... The door has opened because... We have a water stone right here. Make sure to have a water stone with you guys. And the puzzle right here will be... Water. So that's what caused the whole earthquake right here. So we're gonna go inside. Grab this. We're gonna find a few berries. Mystery berry, which is always nice. And let's see. Stardust, which can actually, you know, which can actually give us a little bit more revenue right there. And well, let's see. You know what? Let's get rid of the let's get rid of the full heal. That one is done. And let's see, we got a charcoal, so let's just get go ahead and give that to Hera just uh, for this little situation. And Let's grab everything else. We got ourselves a Stardust. Not the WWE version of it. And Star Piece, which is another another thing that we can actually use. And this one right here. The Mystic Water, which, you know, we already have another one. And what you need to do now is go straight right here. And there is going to be a writing on the wall. They possess... They possess... What was it? Three... I can't even pronounce this one. Holy crud. And... What the hell? In the... Outside world. Okay, so they possess... Treat? Okay, I can't even... I can't even... Yeah, I, I don't even know what it says right there. So if you guys know exactly what it means, comment down below. Alrighty, so let's go back to that same location and solve that puzzle. Alrighty, so here we are back, and now we're going to be doing the little puzzle right here. So it says right here, this Pokemon drifted in the sea by twisting its ten tentacles. Ten tentacles, try and say that out, out loud and all that stuff. And of course, this happens to be the Ammonite one. Always, uh, yeah, this has always been uh, my least favorite just because, you know, you can't tell which one's a corner uh, version and all that stuff. So let's go right here, and holy crap, okay, so there we go, that's one after the other, and where, oh where, is the other one? Okay, so I think it's this one. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay, so let's go right here. Ammonite, you're gonna look pretty, very, very pretty, and let's go right here, and... Probably right here. Okay, so yeah, this this whole thing is just like it's confusing. It is it's very confusing, and I, I probably messed it up just a little bit. Let's see, let's go right here and right there. Okay, so let's put these on the bottom and 
if we go right here, there it is. And that's going well, so that's another one. It's always its shell that's that's the issue right here. And let's go right up to the very poor top portion. I may have gotten it wrong at one point. Nope, it's the right one. Look at that. It's okay. So that opens up this little uh, this little door right here. And after doing this, it actually opens up the 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 rest of the unknowns. I can't I can't remember what 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 uh, unknowns it opens, but right there you're gonna actually find yourself some more in the alphabet. And again, there's like literally no prize in actually getting these unknowns, just the Pokédex. So I'll be right back with you guys. Now we're gonna go straight into the Ho-Oh room. Alrighty guys, so here we are going straight to the Ho-Oh room and now it's the top portion of this area right here. And obviously we have never played against these guys before, so we're just gonna keep on battling and we're just gonna destroy them real quickly. Now, fun fact, you can actually find yourself a Natu in this area right here if you guys are looking for a Psychic and Flying type Pokemon. And we're gonna be going in here and what you need to do is well we're gonna solve the puzzle first before we go into the item room so this one says a Pokemon that flew gracefully on rainbow colored wings let's go right ahead and do that and as you guys can see yeah it is a uh, it, it is a much more difficult puzzle than uh, than our good old buddy Almanite because well there's a lot of layers to this Pokemon lots and lots of layers so let's go right ahead and find these layers and put them all in the right place and you know I could be wrong let's see you know it's probably that okay so let's go right ahead and do that and let's see where oh where should I let's see I think there is okay so I probably messed it up this this is usually how it goes and right there, let's find out where Ho-Oh's face is, right here. And it's right here. And it could be right here, because the tail is always uh, difficult, including the head, because, you know, it has that little... It has that thing on top of its head, like a little crown. And here he has the other foot. The foot's right there. And... I could mix these ones up, but I think I got it right. And bam, there you go. Ho uh oh. Alrighty, so that opens up this, and it will open up the final parts or the final uh, bits of the alphabet for the unknowns. So I'm gonna go back into the room and finish off the whole thing. So again, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here we are back in the ruins of Alf, the Ho uh oh area. And what you need to do next is you actually have to have Ho-Oh -Oh in the very start of your team in order for this to, to actually work. So go back in, and from there, bam, there is an earthquake. Okay, so that actually triggers this whole thing right here, and it's going to say the name of the, the clue, which is Ho-Oh. -Oh. And all you need to do now is go straight right here, pick up some of these items. You found yourself a gold berry, which... Could be useful. A mystery berry. Gotta love those mystery berries. And, well, let's see. What's, what else is there? Look at that. Another charcoal. And finally, a revival herb. Very, very bitter. Okay. And let's go ahead and take a dip right here. So, let's see what it says right here. We humans must... We humans must learn to... Learn to waltz in harmony, or walk in harmony. Said it's walk in harmony with Pokemon, right? With with them, we depart for we depart for their what the hell skies, or I can't even say seki seki. Okay. Uh, I can't even say. I don't even know what it is. What it is. So comment down below, guys, if you know what exactly it says. And that right there ends our little adventure into the ruins of Ulf. Finally. Thankfully, I didn't forget that it is what it is. 
So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's go back to Azalea Town. We're not going to do anything else. So, here it is, guys. The next episode will be the last episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. It has been a nice adventure, and I've, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the way how everything went. So, I'm going to leave it up to you guys right here. I'm going to leave it on my community page. Or I've probably already left it up on my community page. But on New Year's Eve will be the premiere of our final episode of Pokemon Crystal. The choice that I'm going to give you guys will be this. What, how, or how can, or how should I walk into this battle against Red? As many of you guys already know, I brought in my Pokemon Yellow team with the inclusion of Torpedo being its uh, final form right here. What I'm going to do in the next few days, not few days, but, you know, I, what I'm going to do on my spare time is I'm actually going to be battling the Elite Four with both my teams. I'm going to be training up my Pokemon to a very good level. Not too, you know, not too outlandish, as many of you guys would always say. But, I'm going to be training up these Pokemon to a very good level, and then the choice will be up to you. How would you like me to defeat Red? Because, obviously, if I go into the battle against Red with my original team, we are lacking in one thing, and that is speed. If we go up against Red with my Pokemon Yellow team, there might be a little bit of defense make, uh, like missing right there since we do have Pikachu as our starter. So, the choice will be, how would you like, a, like me to end this? Generation 2, Generation 1, or a mixture of both? And if so, comment down below on which Pokemon you think I should use in order to beat a Red. Remember, we're using both the Pokemon Yellow team and the Pokemon Crystal team of, of the Act 3 right here. So, the choice is yours. Comment down below, make the choice on my community page. And by December 31st, I don't know what time, but on December 31st will be the premiere of the final episode of Pokemon Crystal. Just to, you know, finish off this whole, you know, this whole year with a bang. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and everything else. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, heart button's right there. I will be back, whenever it may be, with a very good team. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be going up against Red right here. So, I will see you guys in the final episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. See you guys.